fellow students and other viewers. How are you? Uh, my name is uh, Erasto Thomas, and this is Eteta from Morogoro. Today we are going to deal with a topic known as multimedia and subtopics are introduction to multimedia and multimedia devices, application of multimedia, video recording and editing. This is specifically for form for students and the objective of this topic is to enable the student to have the ability on understanding the basic concepts on multimedia. So let us start by looking at the meaning of multimedia. Multimedia is the field concerned with the computer's controlled integration of text, graphics, drawings, still moving image. So as you can see here on the definition itself, it explained about the integrations. So from the word multi, it means more. We have to use more than one media to reach a certain information. So you can take, for example, text, including with other form of media, like graphics, drawings, and so on. Also animations, audios must be included there as a part of multimedia. So by saying so, the media must consist more than one media, that is what we call multimedia. And all these should include a certain process in order to combine those media. Now let us have a look on the history of multimedia. There are before the earliest best known example of multimedia was a video game. This was introduced by a pioneer known as Nolan Bushnell in 1972. Later on, a new revolution, revolution was done in 1976, whereby Steve Jobs made some developments from the previous development. Then later on, they came up with a new developing multimedia. The same applied in 1981, IBM discovered the first PC which act as the improvement from the previous development of multimedia. And in 1984, Apple released another computer which was using more advanced multimedia. Also in 1985, Microsoft released the first version of Windows operating system. And at the same year, in 1985, Commodore released the Amigo machine, which involved an expert who discovered the multimedia that could involve so many medias so as to reach the intended goals in terms of innovations. In 1988, Micromedia released landmark directors programs which allowed every computer users to have an interface of the different kinds of media so as to have a well-developed issues on multimedia. So even nowadays, we are using flashes and so many things that act as the devices that support multimedia. So let us have a look on multimedia devices. We have so many devices, but these are some of them. 
microphones. This is for getting the sound or the voice of a certain information. Also, we have di digital camera for taking some pictures and photos. Also, we have video camera for taking some videos as the moving image. All these are devices which are used in multimedia. Also, we have newspapers. These include only text and some pictures, whereby those texts with pictures act as multimedia. Also, we have scanners. Scanners special for entering hard copy to soft copy. Also, we have computers as the basic devices that manipulate some of the multimedias and combine them together. Also, we have television. As we know nowadays, most of the people having televisions, so this act as the party of multimedia. Then we have radio. Radio specific for giving audios, sound information. Also we have speaker, speaker for spreading out the sound. Now let us have a look on the elements of multimedia, starting with text. We have graphics, we have animations, we have videos, also we have audios. Let us start with text. Text involves characters, characters that are used to create words, sentences and the paragraphs. As we know, characters is just a collection of beats. When a beat reaches reach a certain number, they create a character, and that character is a letter. Collection of those characters make a word, and the word, collection of those words, act as a sentences. And collection of sentences results into paragraphs. Example of the media that uses text. We have journals, magazines, we have textbooks and reference books, as well as newspapers. Let us check on the graphs, graphics. This refers to a digital representation of non-text information such as drawings, charts, or photographs. For example, you can see here a picture. Quality of a picture depends on the camera used also depend on the pitch. Pitch is just a distance from one pixel to another pixel. So if that distance is too close, is where now we can get a picture with quality. But if that pitch is not so high as such, we can get an image with low quality. Also, under graphics, we have pictures. As you can see, a picture can be drawn by using any, any device, but it indicates a part of multimedia. Also, we have animations. This is one among the elements of multimedia. We say that animations is just a flipping through a series of still images. It is a series of graphics that create an illusion of motions. It is endless. You can use it up to where you want to use it. As you can see here, this is a horse. But it, it is not a real horse, it's just an animation. It indicates a real thing. For example, this horse will still
still move, we're still moving, keep on moving up to endless where a certain person can use this one to indicate a real, a real pose, a real thing. As you can see there, also for a ball is an example of animations, a moving image, bouncing, bouncing. It is a still image. It is endless. You can use it up to where you want to use in order to reach a certain information. Also, we have videos. Videos are just photographic images that are played back at a speed of 15 to 30 frames a second. And they provide an appearance of full motions. As we say, this is a moving image. That is a video. So, audios including all things which involve sounds. For example, a music, you can listen to a certain music, is just a part of audio. A speech can be in the form of audios, and any other form of sound are being included here in audios. So, let us look on the type of multimedia presentations. All, we have a linear multimedia presentation. This, this is so active in terms of navigations. It proceeds up to where you want to reach or up to where you want to end. For example, a cinema. Someone cannot manipulate the cinema, but it will proceed itself. That means a person cannot manipulate or cannot add other thing into that cinema. That is what we call linear multimedia presentations. Also, we have nonlinear. These uh, make an interaction between the user and the multimedia itself. For example, a video game, someone can be playing a certain game while manipulating what is within that game. A decision can be made by the user because this one is too linear. Another example of non-linear is hypermedia. Hypermedia, this are multimedia which does not involve texts. Here we mean other form of multimedia like drawings, videos, animations, as well as simulation is included within this hypermedia. That's why we say this hypermedia excludes text. Now, let us check on delivery of multimedia. Multimedia can be delivered through optical discs. And at least optical discs, we have CD. CD means compact disc. This consists almost 700 MB, that is megabytes. Also, under optical disc, we have DVD. This is a digital versatile disc which consists a size of 4.7 GB. And then we have Blu-ray disc. This consists a size of 27 GB. So all these act as the delivery mode of reaching a certain multimedia. On the other way around, you can use over distributed network. This is web-based. For example, nowadays, you can see within the internet, you can see some of the graphics, some of the pictures, some of the animations without having these storage devices. But you can get all these multimedia through a, a given distributed network that is web-based. Let us take a look on the application of multimedia. As you know, nowadays, multimedia is highly used in many aspects, 
it depends on the user or it depends on the setting where that multimedia are used. By starting, let us look in education, how multimedia is used. Multimedia in education act as teaching aid. As you can see, a teacher can be teaching in front of the class. So, it could be easy for a teacher to teach there in front of a class by using multimedia because it will simplify the way on how he can display the given information by using those multimedias. Also, we can have some simulations and animations relating to some subjects which reflect educational field. Also, another application of multimedia in mathematics. Uh, of course, this one is an education, but for some people can use in terms of getting some stat statistical data in mathematics. Someone can create some charts and graphs by using these multimedia. As you can see here, this is a graph, bar graph. It is in the form of multimedia, just a picture which indicates a certain information, a certain data. Also, we have business as a part of applications of multimedia. Nowadays, most of the people within their business, they are highly used this multimedia as the part that could help them to reach the information to their customers. Scientific researchers, even scientists nowadays use these multimedia to prove or to verify their searches. They can have a details, but they can add some of the graphics, they can add some of the videos that could act as the evidence or reinforce their researches. Also, on the virtual surgery medicines. As we know, in the hospitals nowadays, most of the people want to discover so many things. Therefore, multimedia act as the part that could help them to investigate more on the surgery. As you can see on the picture there, some of the experts in medicines or in health organizations, they can use multimedia to get a, a sample of a real things. You can have animations that indicate a real thing, simulations and so many things that indicate part of multimedia within that field. Multimedia also can be applied in an advertisement. When advertising a certain thing, you can use multimedia in order to reach the intended people. As you can see in televisions, in radio, they use all these forms of multimedia so as to reach the required information. Artists also they can use multimedia and entertainment is one of, among the applications of multimedia. This under, under entertainment you can have games, you can have music, you can have videos for entertaining others. So this will act as a part of multimedia. Also, we have engineering. Some engineering use their knowledge by including multimedia on, cost, on their constructions. <coughs> when they construct some buildings, they must have maps. They must have so many things that are using multimedia. So, now 
let us have a look on how we can record a video and edit a video. Usually, videos are being recorded by using cameras, and it depends on the nature of the camera to be used. If you use a camera with high quality, it will be the same applied on the productions of that video. Therefore, if you use a camera with low quality, you will get a video with low quality. Uh, when recording videos, sometimes can be affected even by nature of the user of that camera. As well as setting environments, some can decide to choose environments which are so conducive, as well some can fail to choose good environment for taking a video. That's why all these act as the factors. So, on video ed editing, we have so many softwares that can be used on edit editing videos. Some of them are as follows. We have Pinnacle Studio. Also, we have Cyberlink, Cyber, Cyberlink Power Director. We have Vegas Pro 16. We have Adobe Premiere. We have Wondershare. We have Windows Movie Maker. All these are softwares that can be used when editing videos. And also, also we have Camtasia Studio. These are some of them, are some of the video editing softwares. So let us have a look on some softwares, how can we edit a certain video by using some of these softwares. For example, here, let us check this video by using Camtasia, how we can edit a certain video. Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the basics of editing video in Camtasia. In Camtasia, videos are created on the timeline moving sequentially from left to right. This is where you arrange and edit your screen recordings, audio clips, titles, and more. The timeline is organized into layers, which we call tracks, where media on the top layers cover the ones below. In this example, there's a title on the top track and a screen recording on a track below which means the title appears on top of the screen recording. If the title is moved to the bottom track, it is now under the screen recording and won't appear in the final video. As you build your project, the canvas is where you preview your work. As the playhead moves along the timeline, everything at that point is displayed on the canvas. So if you change the position, or duration of a clip, those changes are reflected on the canvas. The canvas is also a working area where you position, resize, and rotate content. To get a better look at your work, use the zoom dropdown to zoom in on the canvas and pan mode to move the canvas without making changes to your project. It's good to note that everything that's shown on the canvas is produced in the final video. As you work through a project, there are a few basic editing techniques that are good to know. First, to remove a mistake or unwanted section of a recording, drag a handle on the playhead to make a selection and click Cut. This removes the selection and moves all media to the left to fill the space. If instead you want to replace a mistake with a new recording, make a selection, then press the delete key. This removes the selected media 
and leaves space on the timeline for a new recording. Sometimes you need to add media to the timeline, but there's no room. To create space on the timeline, move the playhead, select the clips, and then press the S key on Windows or Command T on Mac. This splits the clips into two parts, which you can move to create space. To remove extra footage or fine tune media, click and drag the end of a clip in. This is called trimming, and if you trim too much, simply drag the clip back to restore your video. As you work with the timeline, use copy and paste to speed up your workflow. For example, if you create a callout or arrow you like, copy it, move the playhead, then paste to quickly reuse it throughout the project. And if you make a mistake while editing, use the undo and redo buttons to try again. Lastly, to fine tune your editing, use the zoom slider to zoom in on the timeline. If you zoom too much or want to see your project in full, click the magnifying glass to fit your entire project to the timeline. Well, that's the basics of video editing in Camtasia. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and thanks for watching. So, this video, you will get it on the link in the descriptions after looking this video. Now, we can be capable to understand on how we can edit these videos. This is just a sample by using Camtasia. So this video will guide you one step after another on how you can edit a given videos. Also, we have another software that can be used in. Another software that can be used in. Here we have one share. You can check it. They are just the same in terms of appearance. One share is one among the video editor software. Here they instruct you on how you can get that software within a given internet, on how you can install it and how you can use it. This video gives a lot of information on how you can edit a given video. You'll get this video under a given link descriptions there down. This is how you can edit a given videos. So because we are limited with, with time, we have so many softwares that we are supposed to deal with, but now let us move to the next part. These videos will be available on the link speeches. Now, let us check on the advantages of using multimedias. First advantage is that it is integrated and interactive. When using multimedia, a certain user can interact with the devices or with the, with the other multimedias in terms of digitalization process. That's why it is possible for someone to be active when multimedia is included within a given media. Also, it is flexible. Here, it means it is easy for any situation, for any audience can use multimedia in order to reach or to have intended goals. Also, it is very user friendly. Any user can use it. For example, for the one who, with, 
can't see somewhere, can use audio to listen a given information. For those who can't hear well, they can use a video to get a certain information. Also, it is much sens sensorial. It uses a lot of the users sense while making use of much media. For example, hearing, seeing, and so on. Also, it can be used for a very wide range or for a wide variety of audiences ranging from person or a whole group. As you know, these multimedias are usually uploaded in some of the networks. So, when uploaded, anyone can be able to see them, to see those multimedias. Let us check on disadvantages of using multimedia. This is too expensive. For example, someone will be required to have a camera, and those cameras, they have high costs. Someone cannot get a camera easily without having some money, and so on. Also, it is expensive in terms of time. It is time consuming. Combining those medias to become as one, it is time consuming. For example, someone can take it, an audio, at the same time will be required to find it, videos and combine them. These use a lot of time, therefore it will take much time to combine those media. The other disadvantage is information overloaded. When the information are overloaded, sometimes may confuse the one who observes that multimedia. So, after considering all these subtopics on multimedia, now we are done for our today's lesson. Thank you for listening. Thank you.